All right, guys, we're going to be shooting the uh, Tactical Desert 308 today. Um, we're going to be shooting the uh, Remington Corlocks 150 grains. We are going to be working up a load here for hunting season, but uh, just for fun, we're going to be shooting these uh, cheap Walmart uh, soft points. Um, they are really good ammunition. Don't don't get me wrong. Um, the uh, Corlocks are about the best bang for your buck out there on the market, but we did some ballistics uh, figuring. Um, the uh, what you see here is um, figured for the core lock, and we're going to be shooting at 400 yards right now. So what we've got to do is I've got to dial up eight MOA in order to be on the gong at 400 yards. So we're going to shoot that now, and then we're going to probably go back to 800 yards. I'd like to I'd like to shoot these out to 800. You can see that the energy is about 418 foot pounds, about that range. So not really a ton of punch, but these these bullets are not very slick with a, a .314 ballistic coefficient, so they really slow down a lot. They're not boat tails or anything like that, so I don't expect these to be real long range. We're going to be loading up some um, 168 grain Amaxes uh, here uh, pretty soon, so we're gonna we're gonna be shooting with those at much longer ranges. We're gonna go out to a thousand on those. So, but today we're gonna be shooting at 400 and 800 yards. Uh, these core locks. So let's go for it. Just shooting with some cheap ammo today until we get our hunting loads drawn up. Just shooting with the uh, 158 grain core locks at 400. Okay, we're ready to fire here. Dad. That's a hit. Okay, we're right on at 400. Okay, let's take another shot. Okay, we're a little high. I'm gonna drop it down a half minute. And then we're gonna bring it over a tad because we're shooting a little bit to the left. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to fire here. Take another, let's take another shot here. That, my friends, is a hit. Keep your ears on, bud. Okay, guys, um, if you can hear the uh, serenade in the background, uh, 525 yards is as far back as I can go because the cows aren't going to let me go any further. So, and I don't want to, I don't want to spend all day herding them around. So, uh, so 525 yards is what we're going to take the next shots at, which is, uh, you know, a fair amount for a hunting, for a cheap hunting round. So, let's zoom into our gong here. 525 yards so you can see the the flight path and hopefully the hit here okay here we go guys 525 yards with the Remington core locks and the desert tactical 308 25. Now I'm shooting with an older box of core locks now. Um, so this may, may, may or may not make a difference as to uh, how it hits here. Hit. It's
it's a pretty good range for these, uh, like I said, these hunting rounds. These uh, cheap Remington core locks. Let's take a shot at the. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot now at the manhole cover on your right side, side of the screen. All right, let's zoom us out here. I'm gonna take you off the tripod and just talk for a second. I'll show you what's making all the racket. All the cows behind us here. <laughs> so, anyway, this kind of a setup, guys. This is a match grade gun, blue printed, uh, sub MOA gun. To shoot at 525 yards is nothing. Um, I would have liked to have gone up and shot a little bit further back, but the cows are blocking the, the thing. I have to lay down the fence and kind of just a pain in the butt. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyway, there's our, there's our gong way the heck out there. Let's zoom on in so you can see it right there. So 525 yards. All right. Move the cows out of the way. And... With the uh, Leica Rangemaster 1200, we have verified this range at 712 yards to the gong. So let's go. Let's turn it around here, and we'll show you the shot here. 712 yards. You're probably not going to be able to see the hit on camera itself, but uh, we'll zoom it into full zoom and get it set up for that. I'm going to put the gong at the bottom of the screen so that you guys can see the bullet flight. At this range, we've got quite an arc, so I'm going to have to dial it in from up to 500. I, was, I just shot at 525, and uh, let's dial it up another um, got to dial it up another 10 MOA so to hit it up from here. So actually, uh, yeah, no, 11 MOA. We need to dial it up another 11 MOA. So let's do that now and then we'll come back. We're really ballistically reaching the limits of this round at this far, at the, uh, this particular load, the uh, 150 grain core locks. I think I'm hitting a little bit to the right, so I'm gonna dial it over to the left a bit. Without a spotter, this is even more difficult because the spotter can tell me where I'm actually hitting. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of guesswork. I'm trying to do my own spotting at this range. Yeah, I'm hitting way to the right. Okay, I saw that one. So we're going to go ahead and dial it over to the left. We're going to drop it. We're going to dial it over about two MOA to the left. Barrel's starting to get kind of warm now. Let's try this again here. The elevation is a bit high as well, so I'm gonna drop it down a half minute. That is a hit. Alright, one more. That was a hit right on the right side of the right side of the plate. Hopefully you guys are seeing this.
Hold on, buddy. And that's a hit. All right, guys, that's 720, uh, actually 712 yards to the gong. Let's zoom on out here. Our cows are starting to get into our path of shooting, so we're going to go ahead and stop shooting now. Darn cows. <laughs> and that is some shooting with our 308 Desert Tactical. All right, guys. See you later.